Hello, my name is Amy. Welcome or welcome back. I am feeling a bit nervous about this one because even though I love my crime thrillers, I love my war movies, I can get a bit squeamish. So I've been told this would make a good reaction. I'm kind of looking forward to it, kind of not. I feel like I'm putting myself in a vulnerable position right now. <laughs> This is the final destination from the year 2000. I'm pretty sure I've heard of the concept of the film, <clears throat> that someone cheats death and then death goes after them. He's off to France. I live in France. <laughs> Alex! Todd and George's dad just called. He's picking you up at 3.30 tomorrow. Whoa, 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 mama, mama, you gotta leave that on. It's gotta be on the bag, or at least with the bag. I recognize his face. So, 17, on the loose, seeing your trip with your friends in Paris. Is he? Stan off the m, m clip. Live it up, Alex. You got your whole life ahead of you. It looks like it is. Especially with the look that you just pulled. The white zone is for immediate loving and unloving I've never been on a plane. And if I do ever get on a plane, I'm gonna need some kind of comment. <laughs> The airport does not endorse solicitors. You can already tell who the nerdy one is. <laughs> Death is not the end. Reality beyond matter. Will be for you if you harass my students. <laughs> Sassy for a teacher. Ask you a few questions this evening. Back to Oh yeah. Have you received any packages from persons unknown to you? Final destination, Paris. September twenty-five, nine twenty-five. Your birthday is the same as your departure time. Was creepy. Thanks. You're welcome. Hang on, what was that? It is, it's Diana's crash. I think this film is somehow gonna put me off ever wanting to get on a plane. Alex, let's go take a shit. We're about to board a seven-hour flight. The toilets and coach are barely ventilated closets, all right, if that. Do, do you want them to associate you with that watery sting in their eye, that reflexive gag at the back of their throat? You? Coming down. <clears throat> Tied up plane crash. There's gonna be more coincidences. Something's off. Was that 666? Hello, how are you doing? so she and I could sit together. Why doesn't he want them to sit together? Yeah. Oh, so they'd have to split up and... Okay, sorry. Did you, uh, really think we're gonna titty fucking more Greenland? Because of you, I gotta sit here and watch fucking Stuart Little. Thank you. 
He's not feeling it. Oh, I bet that feels weird. <laughs> Is that normal? It's <laughs> 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 do just try and stay calm I suppose <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell Fucking leave. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, no, no, leave, 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 leave. What's your fucking problem? Alex, catch your say. Catch you getting fucking blinked and explode! We'll remove you from this aircraft. I'll be in you. You're fucking up! You're in the way! Everybody in the aisles, I'm moving! At least he's getting off, I suppose. Go check him out, see how he's doing. Okay. Uh, I'd get off. Yep, she feels it too. Hey! You got this? It's gonna happen, isn't it? That plane is gonna crash and he's gonna be a lot less annoyed at him. I was in the bathroom and the lock, it was stuck and oh, we hadn't fight with anyone! <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you'd be gutted. Alex, talk to me, tell me what happened. They probably think it's a panic attack. But that button thing, that lock, latch, that kind of confirmed what he dreamt. I, I saw it take off. I saw out my window. And it was so real, just like how everything happens, you know? Oh, whoa. We get thrown off the plane. We blow, what, a half a day in Paris? All because Brownie has a bad fucking dream? <laughs> Is it gonna start falling from the sky behind them? You don't trip your to the fucking hospital! Hey, hey, hey Alex, stop it! You pay for my trip, Brownie. Fuck you on that plane! You fucking brat! Oh shit! <laughs> How would you get over that? Yeah. Are there any survivors? I doubt it. I shine up. Hello, I'm uh, Howard Siegel. We've contacted all your families. Uh, they are on the way. Are there any survivors? Well, they cause for the explosion is still undetermined. Excuse me. I'm Agent Ween. This is Agent Shrek. <laughs> Agent Shrek. I know it's going to be difficult, but we're going to need to ask you a couple questions regarding today's events while they're still fresh in your mind. 
They can't think that it's him. He said, listen to me, this plane will explode on takeoff. They must have people that panic all the time, though. Did you take any sedatives before boarding the plane? No. I saw it. Can't even call it a gut feeling or intuition because it's more like a premonition. I don't really think it was gonna happen. If that's the case, Alex, then why did you really get off the plane? They wouldn't be able to find any evidence of it though because there wasn't any. Why are they looking at him like that? He saved them. 39 days have passed since we lost our 39 loved ones, friends, and teachers. I hope you don't think, Browning, because my name ain't up on this wall, that I owe you anything. Because all I owe are these people. So live my life to the fullest. Listen, I control my life, not you! The fuck? Carter! I'm never gonna die. He's just scared. Hey, Alex. I uh, took my driver's test last week at the DMV. You know the guy that drives with you, you know, during the test? Right. Yeah, well, anyways, he goes, uh, young man, you're gonna die at a very young age. Is that true? Oh, no. People are gonna start coming to him with questions. Not now, not here, not ever, Billy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me, you scared the hell out of me. Why is everyone turning on him? You'd think they'd be grateful. He was obviously freaked out on that plane. Hey. Listen, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, man, but I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. But my father, you know, he doesn't understand. Yeah. I don't understand. Take care, man. Because of you, I'm still alive. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we say that the hour of death cannot be forecast. But when we say this, we imagine that the hour is placed in an obscure and distant future. I feel like this film is going to make me paranoid for the next three weeks. <laughs> And death is something I think about more than I probably should, but it does, it makes me appreciate what I have while it's happening. But it doesn't mean I want it to end anytime soon. Getting some creepy wind coming in. Shit, it really is. I don't like this. I'm getting creeped out, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm scared. It's gonna get that cured. Oh fuck. He's <laughs> following him. That's 
is that going to say? Todd. What's his friend's name? I think I would have preferred to have been electrocuted. Oh my god. How many students survived him? The girl that he likes. There's that couple. It was him and the teacher. Six. What happened? Where's Todd? Didn't you see it? What happened? He took his own life. No. Why would he make plans with me if he was thinking about killing himself? Mr. Wagner. Mr. Wagner! I'll just leave him alone for now. That would be a lot to process. Almost autumn. Oh, yeah, Todd's house last night. I've seen enough TV to know that the FBI doesn't investigate teen suicides. They were there last night. That means one, I don't have a clue what caused the crash. Four years of high school, we haven't said one word to each other. At that moment on the plane, I felt what you felt. Is she an empath? Or is it a bit more than that? You can still feel it, can't you? It's got a doom and gloom feeling. I don't know. You know what? I just wanted to see him again. One last time. Then let's go see him. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hurry up. Is that him? I think. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Why does hand do that? Chemicals in the vascular flesh create cadaveric spasms. Is that a real thing? What are all those tiny marks? Cuticle lacerations from pulling at the wire. If he was pulling at the wire, he wasn't trying to kill himself. It was an accident. In real life, I don't think this guy would be giving all this information to two kids that are just broken in. What you have to realize is that we're all just that mouse that a cat has by the tail. It's all part of death's sadistic design leading to the grave. Does that mean if you figure out the design you can cheat death? Alex. We know each other. We miss something. You've already done that by walking off the plane. Now you have to figure out how and when it's coming back at you. But remember, the risk of cheating the plan, of disrespecting the design. Ooh. Okay then, well, uh... Yeah, I think you better leave. I'm sorry we broke in and... and... No harm. I'll see you soon. Is he deaf? What this is that the death has a design. How do we know that just by sitting here, by by sipping this coffee, that we haven't started in motion the events that will someday lead to our death 40 years from now, 10 years from now, tomorrow? 
Unless we open ourselves up to the signs it's willing to show us. Total bullshit. I mean, you can find death omens anywhere you want to. Coffee. Starts with a C and ends with a D. Is he having another premonition? You're gonna run him over. What? Oh, too close. Jesus. What is his problem? Carter. Oh. Looks like we have a bit of a reunion here. Look, guys, there's something I need to tell you, okay? He's gonna sound crazy. Alex. And you've been through your whole life. Wait, and you probably yeah. are not gonna And now it. she's gotta move. Hey, all you're the all the it. Yeah, enough! They died and we lived! Get over it. I think it's get over it. I think it's be grateful. That Alex, every time you see She's him, gonna get hit by that bus. I'm scared. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yep, oh my god! That was horrific, but I think I'd rather die like that than slowly. <sighs> Let's just say you were to see this night nice in the end of the party. What do you think you would have to do? Wow, that's a cool reaction. It's clear. Again, you want to talk to her? I start wrapping myself up in bubble wrap. <laughs> I thought that's probably how I'd die, suffocated in plastic. She's concerned about you. I'm concerned about you. Dad, you and Mom have both been a big help. But there's something I need to understand before I can talk. The National Transportation Safety Board has a new theory tonight on the possible cause of the explosion. A spark in the fuel switch beneath the coach cabin in the fuselage may have ignited the fuel line and proceeded to the fuel pump, which would have set off the The problem is you probably start finding patterns everywhere just because you're looking for them. Path of explosion. Oh, it's gonna be by order. Okay, first was Todd. Then was Terry. Miss Luton's next. Oh, no, it's the teacher. Whenever I can fall asleep, I just, I see Tara Cheney. Everything reminds me of that day. Just, just looking out my own front yard makes me feel nothing but fear. <laughs> Hi, this is Valerie Luton. I need Agent Shrek. Please. What are you doing here? Let's check on the air and the tire to make sure it's safe. Get in the car. Here it comes. I believe that, uh, that Miss Luton is, is next. Next? Yes. Yeah, I think I think it's him. Not the song you want to be putting on. Did you see it in another one of your visions? There is a pattern, and I don't know how yet, but I'm gonna break this one. I think I could be able to break this one. I think it might be a bit too late. I keep thinking the worst. There's so much things that can happen in a kitchen. How would the knives get her unless they come flying out by themselves? Gas. Gas, oh no. This is 
building the tension is horrible. <laughs> now, I know you didn't blow up the plane, but then the other survivors started to die. Now, can you promise me that no one else is going to die? No. No, I can't. As long as I'm in here, it's out of my control. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Get out of here. They're going to follow him. That kid gives me the creeps. <laughs> there are a couple of moments there where I almost believed him. Trust your gut feeling. But sometimes you give me the creeps. Yeah, he's pretty creepy. <laughs> Don't touch it. Please don't touch it. Oh, and she pulled it out. No, 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 those are the knives. No, no. Do I want to see this? Oh, she's still alive. Don't touch the knife. They're going to pin it on you. Oh my. Just, 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 just stay still, okay? No, don't pull it out. Oh god, it's blue. They're gonna walk in and he's gonna be there holding the knife. God. Hey, Alex. Even if the fire destroys destroys the evidence, he just saw him run out of the house. I don't know where he is. If he does contact you, I think that it would be in the best interest of your safety if you called us. Now, here's my card. Interesting work. He's creepy because he never blinks. Um, yeah, it looks odd. <laughs> Why'd you want us to meet you here anyway, huh? Because they're watching me. See if I go to Alex. That's why you're taking me. Why would I want to see him? Because he knows which one of us is next. God, there's four more people. And they seem to be getting worse each time. The way they die. Um, so, drive the speed limit, okay? <laughs> yeah. That would be me, paranoid. I can't remember who was next. I don't know if we saw or not. He could be anywhere from here to a mile down the road. So you guys drive down there, start that way, and we'll meet back around the middle. Up there. When I was a kid, I used to worry so much about my parents dying. Yeah, well, most kids do, I guess. Most kids never have it happen. 
I mean, we haven't seen our parents. Alex, we can't give up. I suppose you try, but the way they're dying... I think I'd be popping down some pills. <laughs> I couldn't die like that. That's too slow for me. Look, I can't go home. No, we're taking you to my dad's cabin in the woods. It's only a couple miles from my house. Did you know about Miss Luton or what? Why did you think I was hiding? Did you know she was going to be next? Before she was? Yeah, I did. Out of us. Who's next to see it? I don't know if I, I suppose I would want to know if I was next or not. It's going to be him, the driver. It's me, right? That's why you're not saying. See, you have a responsibility to tell me. It doesn't matter who's next. Because we're all on the same list, all of us. That's a good point. So why wait any longer? I get it, but maybe not with everyone in the car. Why? I may as well go out on my own free will, right? Where's their free will? What a dick. Because he's young and grieving and scared. Carter, stop driving like such an asshole. What are you doing? Oh, Christ. 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 Carter, put your hand back on the wheel. Just tell him it's someone else next on the list and maybe he'll slow down. I am so close to people right now, you don't even want to know. God, I thought that was actually coming. It was that sign, that thing coming down. Fuck. Oh no, just a train. Get out. Get out. What the fuck are they doing? Get out. Okay, just sit there if you want. Move the fucking car! Forget about moving the car! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Open the door! Billy, open the fucking door! Open the windows! Open the door! God damn it! Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Listen to me! This isn't the way! I kind of get it though. Carter! It ain't my time. Is he just gonna ditch him there? <laughs> he was playing around. It's gonna backfire. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking locked him in there. <laughs> I can't get out! Alex! <laughs> no! <laughs> nah, it's too late. <laughs> You're next, Carter! I'm staying the fuck away from you! Fuck you, Billy, I'm not dead! Oh, you will be! You're dead! I don't like the, tr the fact that that train is still going past. He's gonna get hit by a part of the train or something, isn't he? <laughs> That's the plan, that's the design! Please are coming. Fuck, I saved him! But did he save him? Or was it just gonna get him later? I intervene. I changed the design. But intervene, what do you got now? Baby, you're losing it, okay? The police will be here. We have to get you back to my cabin. Okay, after Billy, I'm next. Oh, he's next. I don't know. I'd just be scared it would... Come get me again. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> You'd be seeing danger everywhere. Oh, 
as if he needs to get out, he's boarded himself in. Oh no. He can't die, right? The film seems to be based around him. Uh, she was there a minute ago. I'm not turning him in. I might give you my word that we will bring him in safely in protective custody. You can't stay in there forever, can you? Krista asked me to change seats, but I never moved. I would have been up next to Todd. She's next. She's gonna go out and help the dog and get electrocuted. Survives and this ends with a happy love story. <laughs> now there's that shadow thing. <laughs> no, it's pinned him under the wall. Come on. But then if she survives, he's gonna die. It'll be his turn. It's following her. Does. Don't touch anything! You're grounded by the tires, okay? With a shovel. Oh, with the wood on it. <laughs> it's 
This thing has chain reactions. I can only hold on for so long, you know what to do. Don't! When I do this, it'll skip you and it'll all be over. I was gonna break the pattern. Oh. Mm. I'll always be with you. Six months later. This seems to be okay then. <laughs> well, we made it. Paris. I can't believe it. You know, I just can't believe we got on a plane again. That's what I was about to say. <sighs> wow. It's weird being here, huh? But yeah, it feels surreal. You were right, Brown. It did skip us, it was a design. There's just something, you know, something I can't figure out. Oh no. Just hear me out, all right? I think some things are just, it's better not finding out. When I intervened and saved Carter, it skipped him and went to the next person on the path that went to Billy. But in my case, no one intervened, right? So, so why did it skip you, right? So maybe it didn't skip him. Or you could still be next. <laughs> yeah. What? For all I know, it could circle back and get us all again. <laughs> that fucking song. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me. I need you guys back at the hotel, okay? I told you you were next, man. Stop it, Carter. Yeah, stop. Ah! <laughs> she intervened, right? Calling out? Is that intervention? Oh god, maybe not. Oh. I told you you were next! So who's next? You! And it's the same fucking number as on at the beginning. Ah. <laughs> ah. I suppose I did enjoy that. Keeps you on edge. What I'd be scared of in the next ones is that I'm guessing, I think there's six that I saw. As the films go on, they probably get more and more gory. It wouldn't surprise me. But I'm glad I watched it. <laughs> ah, gonna be paranoid for the next few weeks now. It will be a quick goodbye tonight, just because, as always, I leave these films so late. But, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye!